There might be times when you need to display a pop-up dialog box just to collect a single piece of information. You don't want to use read host because at the console here it's a text prompt. So in order to do that we're going to have to load a portion of the .NET framework that PowerShell doesn't normally load. So we'll start by asking system.reflection.assembly to load the Microsoft Visual Basic portion of the framework. Now that command does create some output and if you're doing this in a script it would be perfectly natural to want to suppress that output so that it, it doesn't show up. There are two ways to do that. One, this is kind of a, a programmery way, is to cast that output as the void type. So I'm taking whatever this produces, which is this, and I'm changing it to the data type of void, which basically means get rid of it, output suppressed. The other way, and I kind of like this better, is to pipe it to out null. That simply takes the output and sends it nowhere so it doesn't show up on the screen. Now once that's done, we are going to, let's start by coming up with a variable. Uh, let's use computer name, that's consistent with the way the shell works. And ask that Microsoft Visual Basic portion of the framework that we loaded to get to its interaction class and ask that class to use its static input box method. Now you can put up to three arguments in here. The first is a prompt. Uh, the second is the title bar. And the third, which is optional, uh, is the default value that you want displayed. So when I hit enter, I get my prompt, I get my title bar, and I get that. When I hit OK, whatever was in that text box will wind up in computer name. That's kind of a roundabout way of getting there, but it's the only way we've got if that's what you want to do.